the false certification to the FBI and the grand jury. 63. On the afternoon of June 2, 2022, as Trump had been informed, Trump Attorney 1 arrived at the Mar-a-Lago Club to review Trump's boxes to look for documents with classification markings in response to the May 11th subpoena. Trump met with Trump Attorney 1 before Trump Attorney 1 conducted the review. Nada escorted Trump Attorney 1 to the storage room. 64. Between 3.53 p.m. and 6.23 p.m., Trump Attorney 1 reviewed the contents of Trump's boxes in the storage room. Trump Attorney 1 located 38 documents with classification markings inside the boxes, which Trump Attorney 1 removed and placed in a red weld folder. Trump Attorney 1 contacted Nada and asked him to bring clear duct tape to the storage room, which Nada did. Trump Attorney 1 used the clear duct tape to seal the red weld folder with the documents with classification markings inside. 65. After Trump Attorney 1 finished sealing the red weld folder containing the documents with classification markings that he had found inside Trump's boxes, Nada took Trump Attorney 1 to a dining room in the Mar-a-Lago Club to meet with Trump. After Trump Attorney 1 confirmed that he was finished with his search of the storage room, Trump asked, Did you find anything? Is it bad? Good. 66. Trump and Trump Attorney 1 then discussed what to do with the Red Wealth folder containing documents with classified markings and whether Trump Attorney 1 should bring them to his hotel room and put them in a safe there. During the conversation, Trump made a plucking motion, as memorialized by Trump Attorney 1. He made a funny motion as though, well, okay, why don't you take them with you to your hotel room, and if there's anything really bad in there, like you know, pluck it out. And that was the motion that he made. He didn't say that. 67. That evening, Trump Attorney 1 contacted the Department of Justice and requested that an FBI agent meet him at the Mar-a-Lago Club the next day, June 3rd, so that he could turn over the documents responsive to the May 11th subpoena. 68. Also that evening, Trump Attorney 1 contacted another Trump Attorney, Trump Attorney 3, and asked her if she would come to the Mar-a-Lago Club the next morning and act as a custodian of records and sign a certification regarding the search for documents with classification markings in response to the May 11th subpoena. Trump Attorney 3, who had no role in the review of Trump's boxes in the storage room, agreed. 69. The next day, on June 3, 2022, at Trump Attorney 1's request, Trump Attorney 3 signed a certification as the custodian of records for the office of Donald J. Trump and took it to the Mar-a-Lago Club to provide it to the Department of Justice and FBI. In a certification, Trump Attorney 3, who performed no search of Trump's boxes, had not reviewed the May 11th subpoena and had not reviewed the contents of the Red Weld folder stated, among other things, that based upon the information that had been provided to her, a. A diligent search was conducted of the boxes that were moved from the White House to Florida. b. This search was conducted at receipt of the subpoena in order to locate any and all documents that are responsive to the subpoena and c. Any and all responsive documents accompany this certification. 70. These statements were false because, among other reasons, Trump had directed NATA to move boxes before Trump Attorney 1's June 2nd review, so that many boxes were not searched and many documents responsive to the May 11th subpoena could not be found and, in fact, were not found by Trump Attorney 1. 71. Shortly after Trump Attorney 3 executed the false certification on June 3, 2022, Trump Attorney 1 and Trump Attorney 3 met at the Mar-a-Lago Club, with personnel from the Department of Justice and FBI. Trump Attorney 1 and Trump Attorney 3 turned over the Red Weld folder containing documents with classification markings, as well as the false certification signed by Trump Attorney 3 as custodian of records. Trump, who had delayed his departure from the Mar-a-Lago Club, joined Trump Attorney 1 and Trump Attorney 3 for some of the meeting. 
Trump claimed to the Department of Justice and FBI that he was an open book. 72. Earlier that day, Nanta and others loaded several of Trump's boxes along with other items on aircraft that flew Trump and his family north for the summer.